So Oliver, I see you've shown us 13. Can you show me 14? Good. Can you show me 15? There. Oh, that was a different way to show it. I love it. But let's use all of that row because teen numbers have one 10. That's why they have a one in front. So you have one 10 and then you have five below. 15. Can you show me 16? Can you show me 17? Can you show me 18? Can you show me 19? Now, what do you notice about all the teen numbers? They're on the pink. Yes, they're all on the pink. Good observation. Okay, reset your abacus, please. Oops, sorry, Katie, for stepping on your tail. All right, this time, can you show me 20? <laughs> can you show me 20, 20? please? It's oh, it's the whole thing. Can you show me 30? Oh, can you show me 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90? What's different about... 100. Yes, but those aren't our T numbers. The T numbers all use whole entire rows on the abacus, whereas the T numbers only used... Pink. Good observation. So I've given you a bunch of numbers there. Can you sort them to either be the teens, spelled T-E-E-N, which page says teen? Good. Or T, spelled T-Y. I love it. And you drew that yourself. Okay. Sort away. Teen? That says 7T, I believe. T? Good. Keep going. order for me. Two. Which one's the smallest and which one's Two. the biggest? Good. And let's put that one way up here because we're going to use them later in a moment. What does this one say, Oliver? 20. Good. 30. Good. Now, what do you notice about all the teen numbers? What do they all have in common, the teen numbers? Mm. What number do they all have in common? One. The one. That Zero. means, that's right, the teen numbers have one, ten. And teen mm -hmm. and ten are spelt very similarly. Yeah. Oh, you like it better like that? Yeah. Okay. And the T numbers all have a zero at the end. So T numbers have a one in the beginning, and T numbers have a I zero. Pattern. How are they organized? What's the pattern? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. And what's the pattern over on that side? One, two, I mean, three, four, five, six. Seven. Ah. Eight, nine. Put your 15 there. I want it to stay on your teen mat. 50. Yep, this is 15, but now I want to see 50. What are you going to grab to make 50 and put this on your mat so that we can see? Amazing. Show me on the abacus, Oliver. How we do that is just by putting 10, 12, 13, 14, <laughs> Close, but 50. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Good job. Shall we try another one? Okay, clear your map. Okay. You've discovered your T numbers have whole rows and end in zero, and your T numbers are all in the pink or the second row and end or start in one. And you'll notice that that was the same on the abacus, the same in the base 10 blocks, and it's gonna be the same on the hundreds chart. So it goes like that. That's right. In and red, so one. can you circle in red the teen numbers? Teen. Good, 13, 14, 15, 16, will you tell me? I love it, why didn't you circle 20? 
Because 20 is just two tens. Ah, and so and not teen numbers only have how many tens? One. One. I love it. Okay, in blue, so you can put your lid on that one. In blue, can you circle all of the T numbers that end in zero? Or have the ending T. Good job. Now, why didn't you circle 100? Because it has one zero zero. Oh, okay. So it has two zeros at the end, not one zero. And does 100 sound the same as 80? Or 70? It doesn't have the same ending, does it? I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Okay.